What is up, Planeswalkers? Tyler here, bringing you another Monday Arena video. Uh, this time, you know, no messing around. We're going into Standard Ranked, and we're going to climb the ladder. I finally made it back into Gold. I haven't been in Gold in a while. And uh, we're going to see how high we can get. I'm doing things a little bit different this time, in, uh, in that I'm going to be talking over game footage I've already done. So I'm not actually, like, playing at the same time. Because uh, I think I think I focus better um, when I can do just one and then the other. So I'm only gonna wear the first hand. I've been having a lot of fun with the uh, with blue black rogues. Like there's probably some tweaking I can do. Um, I think I need to cut the temples for the dual face modal lands. Uh, but one of my I mean it's. One of the best starts the deck can have is Swamp, let them do their thing, and then end of their turn, flash in the Enforcer. The Enforcer is 100% like the, like the backbone of this deck if you want to attempt to actually win by milling. Um, it and the... I can't remember its name. Uh, so drop the Scryland, cause, and we're going to leave him on top. Attack for one, because I believe next turn I can drop the Swamp, and I can drop the Nighthawk Scavenger. Um, I don't think this game went well for me. I can't remember, though. Um, but yeah, the Soaring Thought Thief. Uh, he is the other just really good one. The one three for black and red, or black and blue, uh, who mills for two whenever one or more rogues attacks and that can stack if you've got you know multiple copies of him out all right we're gonna drop we're gonna drop that and mill two and i'm waiting on the i'm waiting on frostbite like i i know he's got it uh with the release of call time and the addition of snow mana. Or, yep, he's targeting it. And there it is. Just with with giving us snow mana, like Frostbite has just like become the premier like removal spell for red deck wins. Uh, yeah, not going to block these. Let's see what we got on top. The Okay, another one of those. Another Thieves Guild Enforcer. So, for as good as the Enforcer is, kind of the one thing about it that's... Ooh, get another island. The one thing that just bugs me about it is that I... It, it doesn't fly. I believe every single rogue in this deck flies except for these Guild Enforcer and the dual face modal one with Menace. Um, I can't remember... We will lofty denial that, so we don't have. So we go straight to the grave, uh, and because they don't fly, they are, those two are the biggest liabilities when it comes to using lofty denial, because it's one in a blue counter target spell unless an opponent pays one, and I believe it's if you control a creature with flying, they have to pay four, and so most of the time it's just a hard counter because you just wait until they can't pay and then you counter. But we're just going to continue dumping this guy's graveyard and get hit for another four. Uh, but because these two don't have flying and because that menace rogue don't have doesn't have flying, it's just lofty denial becomes. Way worse. Hey, all right. You know what? Let's go. Third Thief Guild Enforcer. <laughs> Drop that. Mill him for six. That's, uh, yep, there's... Uh, ha ha. I hate Frostbite so much. Just... We didn't need conditional Lightning Bolt back in back in the meta but i guess red deck wins like needs all the tools that it can get because between that and the giant like the giant i think is actually the most like premier removal because it's a removal spell and a body all for like really efficient on both halves 
Um, all right, and I believe I let all these go through. Because I think at this point, no matter what... Oh, yes, because he's got just the right amount of mana open for the bane of everyone playing against red. Embercleave. And at this point, I was like, yeah, we're done here. But because he had already attacked, yeah. Good old Ember Cleave. I played Red Deck Wins um, back when we had our guilds, uh, or back when we had Ravnica Standard, when we had a uh, Cavalcade. And it, it once we got Ember Cleave, oh, it was so good. And then we lost, like, Cavalcade. We lost a bunch of the good one one attackers and pingers the scampering not yeah scampering scorcher uh the little spitfire whatever its name was and so i stopped playing it um i'm kind of wanting to go back to it just because of what i've been seeing i am just tracing essica <laughs> tracing essica's outfit hadorian let's go um this it's kind of a greedy hand. Um, I don't have enough mana to take care of, or to get out Zareth, but I'm gonna keep uh, because I'm on the draw. So there's a good chance I can draw one of my one drop rogues, either the Thieves Guild Enforcer or the blue one. But I don't. I get another Lofty Denial, so we're just gonna go with the Swamp. Uh, the and you'll kind of see it a lot more later in this video, but the uh, Brazen Borrower interacts with Zareth so well, like so nicely. Just the fact that you can bounce something, you can then flash it in when it you know it can attack unblocked, bring it back to your hand and hit with Zareth, get something from their grave, and then have it in your hand to bounce something again. It's okay. So yeah, he's gonna try and drop Sarolf, and I'm gonna say no. <laughs> and sweet, drop the swamp, get the thieves guild enforcer. But as usual, we wait until uh, the end of their turn. So they're bringing in the world tree, and they're foretelling a card. We're gonna mill them, and it's my turn. So what we're going to go is, I like that Seraph. So we're going to attack with the Thieves Guild, and we're going to bring it back to our hand and send in Zareth to hit them and take their Seraph for our own. I debated for a hot second to get that uh, Elspeth Conquers Death, but it was just, after I thought about it for literally half a second, I was like, I've got nothing to kill, I've got nothing to revive, there's no point. And they don't want me having... Oh, that's right, they don't want me having Zareth, because I can just keep getting stuff back. So we're going to go Island, drop Thieves Guild again. Uh, and then I believe we just send Sarov, yep, send Sarov over at Kaya to get a counter. I don't know how I feel about Sarov. Like, the, it's cool that he's like a like a constant mass board wipe but the fact that he exiles and he hits all your board too like i want to like him like i love that effect all right he's sending in rydane like yeah we'll let that hit because the only counter spell that i've got he could or he she they they could pay for so i wait yeah so we're going to use Brazen Borrower, and we're going to send Rydane back to their hand. Hello, goodbye. Seraph, do you want to remove all the counters? No, I do not. That's the... So we're going to play that. And we're just going to swing with the team. And we're kind of sitting pretty, because we've got enough mana that we can cast the Brazen Borrower, and then cast the Lofty Denial... Uh, but with Brazen Borrower, we'll get the um, tax them by four, as opposed to only taxing them on one. I also kind of want that Rydane for myself. 
So we're going to send in the Brazen Borrower. Which I believe... It does not, no. So we're going to decline to use Seraph. So I believe what I do is... Oh, yeah. So we go and grab an island. Pro Gamer Strats. We drop the Soaring Thought Thief. Which will put their graveyard at over 8. Which means that I can cast that and just take their riding. <laughs> like, I will be taking that, thank you. And I'm, yeah, that's lethal. Because I'm, I'm swinging for 12, they're at 11, they concede. Victory! And we go up to gold tier 2. Yes. I want to, before this season is over, get to at least Platinum 3, because the highest I've gotten is Platinum 4. What do we get? What do we get? Ah, uh, we got something not good. Uh, I mean, back onto the Breach. Oh, God. Essica, God of the Tree. She's so good. I built a Brawl deck with her because I wanted to be a part of the problem. And what's funny is whenever I play Brawl, um, if I pick her, like, 9 out of 10 times, I'm paired against other Essicas. But if I play literally anyone else, like, yeah, this is a pretty good hand, so we keep. Uh, if I play literally anything else, then the amount of times that I play against Essica... Uh, severely drops. So I'd be interested to see how Arena takes care of that. Like, if they've got an internal tier list of commander decks. So, same old song and dance. Flash that in, end of their turn. He's also on the rogue deck. I drop the island. I hit for one, and he wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> Easiest win of the night. Just doesn't want to deal with it. Because this was... I also played like a pure mill deck around Eldrain. Or like after Eldrain had come out. Uh, that didn't even want to do damage. Like it was just all the Merfolk Secret Keepers. And the uh, Overwhelmed Apprentice. And the Wishing Well. Or the Witching Well or whatever they called it. And it, was just, it was just pure mill. And I had a lot of fun with it. So, it's kind of interesting that the rogue deck is a mill deck, but doesn't necessarily need to win by milling. Yeah, two or three tap lands, I don't think so. This is better, and I don't want to mill down any further, so we're going to send a swamp back and hope that before we get to Rankle or Zareth, we get a fourth land. There we go. <laughs> and... As I am one to do, we wait and see what they do to send in to send in our enforcer. So they're gonna foretell. That's another mechanic that like I've been interested. Oh, the perfect turn too. Because he's also got flash. Uh I've been wanting to play around with Fortel, but I really I just haven't. Like. So they're gonna drop their third land, and that's right, they're on death touch. So we're going to drop our, our dude, mill them for two, and now we're facing, we're going to send, send in the Thought Thief. Uh, we got a Finn there on top, so yeah, they're playing Death Touch Tribal slash Finfect, which is another standard deck I've been playing around with. Oh good, a second one. Kind of looking at their graveyard to see what I want to take, because they don't have any flyers. So we're going to do that. I believe I just go and grab an island. And we're going to send in the Thought Thief. And send, or uh, use Zareth. So we're going to first mill him for two, see if we can get anything interesting. And we don't. So we send in Zareth, bring the Thought Thief back, hit, and I believe we go for the... Um, the questing beast that he's got in his grave that I hit super early on. 
a duress and a ram through. And he's looking to see what Zareth does. I, I think he's trying to block Zareth with, <laughs> with the snake, but he can't. So we take the questing beast. And at this point, I was feeling pretty good. Uh, up until... Wait for it. Where is it? Get another land. A third one. And that thing. And just all the triggers. Which hurt. So I kind of... Because we've got Death Touch on both of... or Because I've got Death Touch on the Enforcer now. And that thing already comes with Death Touch. But it was already big enough. I needed to... I needed to clear some some of the board away so we're gonna we're gonna s drop the the enforcer and we're gonna drop rankle because that snake is a problem and we're gonna attack with both because I was hoping and he ended up doing it I, I knew I was gonna have to trade off Zareth but now he's only got one thing left on the field so we're gonna make we're going to force the discard, and we're going to force the sack. We've got enough land, so we're just going to dump the swamp. And goodbye, Thieves Guild. But that also got rid of his Valkyrie. Or her Valkyrie. Their Valkyrie. So, track down. Digging through the deck to try and find some answer for Rankle. Apparently liked what they saw. Got a land. So, we have got one, one thing in hand. So, we're going to drop... Both of these, we're going to swing with Rankle, and we're going to force the discard again. Because they may have taken a whole bunch of life from us. Let's force the discard. But now they're, now they're top decking. And I've got a board. He's going to hurt himself with that. He's going to drop, the, drop a land and then drop the Falmire Knight. So we're gonna we're gonna scry, see what's on top, lofty denial, not bad. We're gonna swing with the team. And now we're both top decking, so there is no point in the discard, but I am gonna force him to sack. Just in case. I don't want I'm low on life, I don't want him to have some kind of combat trick. Uh the version of Infect that I play with Finn uses yeah, there he goes. Uh, uses Luris, so I don't get to run things like the Valkyrie or the the Snake. So I'm not entirely sure. I saw the deck had Ram through. So, you know, play it safe. Play it safe, kids. So, another win under our belt. What card do we get? Uh, cool, Wolf Bear. <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? God, I love the design for Seralf. The, like, the Celtic knotwork around his, like, forelimbs is so good. JBW. Mm, kind of a greedy hand. We've got a turn one Merfolk Wind Rider. Wind Robber. Sorry, we got a turn one Wind Robber and we got a turn two. We can hold up the brazen, uh, the brazen borrower, and it would appear they are also on the same same train we're on, so we will mimic them. But they have the uh, they have the the modal lands which I need. It's like you know what? Sure, why not? Let's trade. And I believe they're a little different because they're yeah they're a Luris deck. Which I guess is all right, but that takes away like it takes away basically every rogue that I currently have in my hand. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not super sold on Luris for this build. I was like, all right, we'll play that, and we'll just hold up the hold up the bouncing because next turn I can turn one of those fabled passages into a swamp. And we can drop the uh, Nighthawk. Of one mind. 
I was a little confused when I first saw him play that because I was like, I don't know what non-humans the deck runs, forgetting that a lot of these rogues are fairies, merfolk, and vampires. So, yeah, we end up going with the Fabled Passage just so I can guarantee my, uh, I can guarantee the double black and we're going to get him out first. And he's not long for this world. Okay, so the other thing that confuses me about what this this person's playing is they have the Zagroth Triome, which is Sultai, so it's blue, black, and green. And I want to know why. Because nothing that they play at all during this game is green. I don't know why they have the Triome. But... My Nighthawk is not going to be long for this world. Play with Rock. Rock blew up. So now I'm getting suspicious. So my plan is... See if I can start... like See if I can bait out the removal spell I know that they've got. I was like, alright, let that happen. I, I'll go get a swamp. And we'll drop the Thieves Guild Enforcer. Let's see if we can... F I'm not gonna... Not gonna use removal. Uh, why? Why no rankle? Why did I not do... Oh, okay. Yep, there it is. Heartless Act. And yeah, at this point I'm just going to hold up all the mana for the two Brazen Borrowers. What's up, buddy? My cat's having a drink. Sitting right over next to me. Yep, facing down my own card. What's cool is <laughs> they keep trimming lands off the top. Which is kind of an issue that I want to thin out with this deck. Is I keep getting... More often than not, I get mana flooded. Alright. So, they're thinking... They they spend a lot of time thinking in this, this game. So, we're getting another of one mind. Dropping another Fabled Passage. And we go, we go into attacks. Come on. Choose not to trade with me. Alright, so we're going to drop that. Another Brazen Borrower, sure. Why not? And we'll drop the front side of that rogue. Let's see what we get. Force the removal spell. Come on, I know you've got another, you've got another, like, act of cruelty. Mill, mill, hit the blood chief's thirst, and the into the story, and send in our now 3-2 death touching, uh, Thieves Guild. Um, highlighting. Uh, something, something's amiss here. There's Heartless Act. That's what it is. Not Act of Cruelty. Send in another Heartless Act. That's fine. I only, I hate playing on this board because there's so much to do. So we're just gonna... Kind of out of spite, we're just going to bounce the Thieves' Guild. <laughs> I don't think it ends up mattering, though. Because my hope is to deny the mill that the Thieves' Guild is going to get. Yeah, there's Drown in the Lock. Oh, goodbye, Brazen Borrower. And Soaring Thought Thief. Well... Now I've got a now I've got a five three. So we're gonna go. 
We go Fabled Passage, because if I play this right, we're going to grab Swamp and we're going to drop Rankle, who's just so good. I, Rankle, love you, Rankle. So Rankle's going to get scattered. Scattered to the wind. Goodbye. Hardly knew ye. And I'm just going to send in the 5-3 with Menace, because the double block would kill both of both of their things. And they choose to take the five. And we're still holding up mana for the Brazen Borrower. Crack that. Whoever this is, they're, they're incredibly meticulous with everything that they do. I had been expecting them to grab a swamp because I, I was ready for another, uh, I was ready for another Thieves Guild. So it sends in both. And I'm going to take it. Just because there's really no point in... With, with that much mana open. I got one card in hand. Things do not look good. Keeps highlighting my rogue and I'm not sure I appreciate it. Come on, do something. See, this is what I mean. They take a lot of time thinking. Uh, okay, so this is funny. So they take my rogue. And I was like, that's rude. So <laughs> I'm going to use Brazen Borrower to bounce it back to my own hand. So they grab Luris. And we're going to go, whoop. And that'll go back to my hand. Congratulations, you played yourself. You made me use my own removal spell on my own thing just so I can replay it. We got the Nighthawk Scavenger, which is pretty good. Alright, drop both. I am now slowed down by a turn, which kind of sucks. And they now have Luris. Which still doesn't explain why they're playing the, the Triome. I want to know. Because, like, is it just there for card draw? Because that seems bad. You've got Of One Mind and Into the Story. You don't need the Triome. Okay. And there goes my Scavenger. It's like, that's just rude. Highlighting everything. I'm going to get hit by the Wind Robber and Mill One. I believe this is the last game of the last game on my night. And that's kind of the last nail on the coffin. Swamp. Drop that. And I mean, I'm just kind of fighting uphill at this point. So we're going to swing with the 5-3 Menace. They're going to into the story and just just reload their hand. And, yeah, there's no coming back from this. I I appreciate that they let the attack go through. <laughs> because, yeah, I'm top decking. They've got a full hand. We're both in blue-black. There's kind of the writings on the wall, but I try not to concede. Like, I try not to just snap concede. Oh, well, there go two. Two drowned in the locks. This is me trying to figure out why they have the Triome. <laughs> it's just a war of attrition at this point, and I do not have the resources. Go on. Send in my own. Send in my own scavenger. There it goes. So. Does this count as, like, two for zeroing, my, or two for oneing myself? If. He used one card to take my creature, and then I used my creature to kill my creature. Like, that that's just, a, I'm two for wanting myself. Yeah? That's how that works? I don't know. I'm bad at this game. Who gave me pieces of cardboard? So, I'm going to kill the scavenger, but they're going to gain five. See, skimming lands off the top, which is pretty cool. 
at this point, I'm kind of hopeful that I can ride this ride this five three menace to victory. But then they cast Luris, and then the Wind Robber, and then I mill some more. So, things are looking more and more bleak. They've got a board. I've got a Wind Robber who is basically just a single blue draw card at this point. So we're going to immediately sacrifice, see if we can get something better. And we get drowned in the lock. So out of, again, pure spite, we're going to blow up their cat. And then Drown in the Lock happens, and I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, so we got up we got up to Gold Tier 2 and halfway through it. So you know what? All in all, I'm happy. We rose up the ladders. We milled some cards, and we rose up. Uh, but that is going to be the end of it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching uh watching us ramble uh i think this is kind of how i i kind of want to do this in the future because it helps me stay on task for both talking and playing as opposed to having to split my attention so uh i mean let me know what you think down in the comment section below uh i've been your host tyler and if you like what we do here leave us a comment leave us a like uh throw us a sub we're trying to get to 200 we're almost there and uh yeah let me know what, what fun decks you guys are playing in Standard. I'm always looking for new new brews. Like, I love Brewing Commander, but, like, I net deck for formats that I'm not familiar with. But, yeah, y'all. Uh, I've been your host, Tyler. Uh, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace!